I've been on a lifelong journey somewhere between what I was gifted to do and what I was called to do. Uh, very plainly, I think most people are on that same journey about trying to find the difference between what they're gifted to do and what they're called to do. You know, growing up in church, I realized that word calling uh, basically can be a really churchy, Christianese type of word, but really um, that word calling means purposed. Trying to figure out what I'm gifted to do or what I'm purposed to do. And I took a pathway basically of uh, honestly functioning in what I was gifted to do. Man, I was a gifted songwriter. I was gifted as a, as a singer, as an artist, an influencer, gifted in all those areas. And so I used my gift in areas that I was not purposed to use them in. So I find myself in the music business, I'm using my gift. I got record deals, I'm using my gift. I'm on stages performing, I'm using my gift, but I'm using it never in what God purposed me to do. And so because of that, I was never fulfilled. It was never enough, you know? Oh, you get nominated for this award? Okay, so what's next? You know, you, you sell a million records, okay, so what's next? You uh, have relationships outside of your marriage, people that are interested in you, so what next? You want this car or this house, so what's next? Uh, what I realized was that uh, the enemy always sends counterfeit before he sends the real deal. And I found myself in a place of counterfeit love, counterfeit relationships, counterfeit materialistic life experience, and nothing was real because it wasn't what I was purposed to do. So ultimately I had to get to a place of a reckoning with myself of, okay, God, if you're the real deal and these other things are all carbon copy counterfeits, what do you have that's so much different than what the world has to offer? And basically I got to a place when I answered my purpose, when I answered my calling, God says, I satisfy. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. I don't have to have the things that I had back then. I don't have to have the accolades or the validation from the world because God validates me. And now that I'm functioning in what I'm called to do, what I'm purposed to do, he then gives me the grace to do what I was gifted to do. And that's what I'm doing now. That's what I get to do at Victory. I get to do what I'm gifted to do, but now it has purpose and that satisfies.